Another thing that I've always wondered with you is why documentaries? You know, and, and um, especially the fact that you're, you're going to be on a panel tomorrow about um, the fact that about one third of mm. documentary filmmakers are women. Only a third. Yeah, that's good so, compared to Hollywood movies. 4%. This is true. This is true. I'm telling you, I'm used to four percent of the Hollywood <laughs> statistics. So a third, I'm like, oh my god. Yes. That almost seems about right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm. I, I actually, honestly, I, I see that statistic as fantastic. I think that that statistic mm -hmm. encourages me, and I look around. There's so many fantastic women uh, mm -hmm. filmmakers. Barbara Copper was my teacher, okay. and it, so it's not just happening now. It's been happening for generations. Women have been doing amazing work in this field, and um, yeah. So a third is not a half, and I think a half would be great. I mm -hmm. think if the uh, filmmakers and you know the voices in film was representative of the balance in the world, which is 50-50, that would be the ideal. Right. But a third is not, is not bad. I think we could keep working and keep encouraging women. I think we mm -hmm. need all the you know, parity we can get and, and support and encouragement. And apparently women are very bad at asking for money. Right. So I think we need to help women fundraise for their films mm -hmm. and be ambitious for their films and um, feel really supported and encouraged about finding their voices and the stories they want to tell. Absolutely. So I'm really committed to that, I must say. But I, I have to say a third, compared to um, quite how uh, overwhelmed I feel when I think about the fiction statistics, even independent True. film, yeah. which are just mind-blowing. You know, I, I grew up born in the 70s when we were told it was equal you know oh that gender stuff they sorted that out and I looked around the little girls little boys we seemed like equally you know uh you know excited and talented and, and vivacious it seemed like of course you know we're 50 50 <laughs> like what could go wrong and then you cut to my adult career and learning that on the Hollywood side of the dial yeah four percent of mm. films are directed by women I also th there was a study that came out just last week that USC did they talked about the women in front of the camera as well which is absurd that the the, the the women are I think only 28 percent of speaking roles or something yes. yeah. and then amongst teenage girls 56% of teenage girls on screen were like clad in a particularly sexy and provocative way or yeah. naked. So more than half of teenage girls on screen are in a, in a kind of depicted in a sexual way. Mm -hmm. And I think, gosh, what is that doing for young women and for young men and for, and for older people too? I mean, what, what, how do we get here and how can we, um, uh, you know, find stories that actually, uh, I think better, you know, better represent Who we our really world. Are. Yes, <laughs> and in a more helpful way. I, yeah. I don't find it. Sex is great, but I don't think fifty-six <laughs> percent of teenage girls should be about sex when they're on the yeah. screen. That doesn't that doesn't tally with how life wants to be for me. Right.